Hi everyone, uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on the, uh, the fold down sections of the fiddle yard because I have actually come up with a idea. Now whether that will actually work or not is to be uh, decided as yet. But um, whilst Debbie's off visiting a friend to do her tarot cards, <coughs> um, scary stuff, um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, make a, a short video, okay? Um, so, after a lot of your comments, which are absolutely fabulous, and I really appreciate them, um, I actually found something which I thought I will actually give it a go to make sure that the, the legs that drop down on the fiddle yard um, will stay in place, so they can't be knocked out, okay? Um, but... I suppose <laughs> first of all as you can see up there on the TV screen this is a, a photograph I found um, last week whilst uh, going through a lot of my stuff at work um, and having to delete them and I found this so this is pretty much uh, I think just after oh it must be about 2002 I think um, we used to actually sponsor Chippenham Town Football Club so we had a uh, a season ticket and um, the shop floor at our factory and the office staff we used to play um, matches against each other and on this particular occasion um, <laughs> the office staff didn't have enough uh, players so they drafted me in from the shop floor uh, can you tell which one's me maybe this one there I was the goalkeeper. They must have been mad because that was two weeks after I had uh, <laughs> a vasectomy. And I tell you what, after that and after doing the splits, I had bollocks like coconuts after that. And I tell you, if ever you have a vasectomy, don't do sports. Do as the doctor tells you and rest because it is bloody painful. So, yeah. But anyway. What have I done then? What's my idea? Let me see if I can actually get to the mouse and we'll get down here. There. Right, some of the suggestions were to use a bolt. Just drill a hole in the in the floor of the garage and the woodwork. Fit a bolt to the um, the leg and when the leg comes down just bolt it into place. Absolutely brilliant idea really really was a fabulous idea um, it, it one of the concerns it gave me is that the fact I've done a lot of insulation in this garage and I'm just a little bit concerned about if I drilled into the floor because what's this about 18 18 mil I think the floorboards are in here or or the plate or the chipboard is for the flooring and I did just didn't want to leave a hole all the way through um, but still, brilliant idea, it was a lot better than what I originally had planned, which is this. I was going to use some wood like this, which is about 6mm thick. That's what I was originally going to use, cut it up, um, pretty much make like a, a U shape on the floor, so that when the leg came down, it went in between the uh, three pieces of wood and it wouldn't go any further but again when it's actually down uh, it, it could be tripped over because it is a through fare from the the double doors to the single door so that was a crap idea really basically and uh, yeah so several of you mentioned about using a bolt which I thought was a great idea but the more I thought about it and the more I looked into it the less I really wanted to make a hole in the uh, the wood for the garage floor so whilst looking around I then found these now how awesome is that that is a electromagnet uh, or electromagnet solenoid as they say now in the picture it looks quite big doesn't it but it's actually 29 millimeters in diameter 
and I believe about 22 millimeters in depth. Um, it's 12 volt and the best thing is it's 10 kilograms so when it's activated it can hold or what's that it's about 100 newtons so 10, 10 kilograms or 22 pounds that's a lot that's a lot of force that's that's more than what you could knock with your hand um, I suppose if you give it a really good kick you might be able to knock it but then again have you ever thought about trying to kick 22 bags of sugar nah that pretty much bust your toes I reckon if you tried that so yeah that's the idea that I've decided to go for and I've already bought three of them I know the price on here is £5.29 each uh, I went with them because they're, they're based in the UK you can get them cheaper but they'll come from Hong Kong and you don't know how long that's going to take so what did I do? 29mm diameter before buying them I didn't actually check to see if I actually have anything to cut a 29 or 30mm hole um, which if you consider that's what I've got to do I've got to cut a 30mm diameter hole into this which, which is doable if you actually got the tools to do it so I had a look at my little tool kit and this is what I had 32 millimeter I didn't have a 30 or a 29 only a 32 but thankfully that still fits so if I put that on there it will do and me being me I've actually tried it and there we are it does fit so the idea will be on all three legs that are doing the fiddle yard I'll drill that hole out I'll have to actually use the chisel to take the uh, the waste out and then maybe put a hole in here somewhere or down here to let the um, the wires come out and I'll either fit up a separate switch so that when the legs are down I'll flick the switch and the 12 volts will activate it and the legs will lock into place and they won't move or I'll rig it into the um, accessory 12 volt accessory bus which will be on the layout so that as soon as the um, I turn the power on for the layout the legs will all lock into place I turn the power off for the layout and the uh, magnets will deactivate and everything will be taken down I'm not sure yet but it will be something to play about with at a later date so yeah a new toy to play with electromagnets God, that's got to be cool, hasn't it? I'd even thought about because they do them in 12 volt, they do them in 24 volt, and I also know you can get them in 240 volts, <coughs> pretty much on mains. And 240 volts, that must be powerful, powerful as hell. So um, I thought about if I get a little metal tag for our cat Poppy, and I put that on her on a little collar. If she goes out astray at night, instead of me having to come outdoors at midnight, stood outside on a patio shouting out, Poppy, 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 I won't have, to, I won't have that embarrassment. I just flick a switch, 240 volts go to something like this, which might be like a thousand neutrons, poof, she'll be back in the house instantly. Awesome. Might have actually have all the waifs and strays around the house as well at some point or other they've all got metal tags on them but that's another experiment to play with so yeah that was just a little update to let you know what um, i'm planning on doing and hopefully these should be turned up before the weekend if they do i'll have them in place and we'll be able to have a 
little play around and see what they're like. Oh, yes, I did actually get another little toy. It's not railway based, but it's garage based. Got a little remote control here, look. See, Sealy. So if I go to press the button for on, can you hear that? It's a fan. <laughs> it's a wall mounted remote control fan. And change the speed. Oscillate. It's also got a timer. So I think it's from anywhere between 30 minutes to seven and a half hours. And you change the mode. So I think you've got natural, um, sleep. I think the sleep, it starts off like fast and then it quite is slowly over a period of time it gets slower and slower and slower and then once you fall asleep it goes off which I probably end up doing a lot in this garage is falling asleep at some point or other <laughs> oh yeah me and my toys sorry just had to show you that absolutely love it okay so that's it everyone I shall catch you later and hopefully at the weekend I'll do another update and you'll actually see the solenoids or the uh, uh, electromagnet solenoids working. Okay, so toodle pip, catch you later, bye bye.